We are under threat by Naira Mali, Mobad's mom reveals. The family of late singer Mobad yesterday alleged that they are under threat by Aziz Fashola, also known as Naira Mali and others. The late singer's mother, Mrs. Adebose Olunini, has called for maximum protection, alleging that she and her family are under threat by Naira Mali. Mrs. Olunini stated this when the lawmaker representing Adamawa North Senatorial District, Senator Ishako Abo, alongside with Nollywood actress Tonto Dike and Iabo Ojo, visited the family of the late singer yesterday. The senator, however, assured the family of maximum protection, stressing that any intimidation on them will not be tolerated. During the visit, Mrs. Olunini said that her family is facing serious threat and living in fear. She, however, accused Nara Mali of threatening her and her family. Meanwhile, the Nigerian music industry appears to be distancing itself from Nara Mali gradually. In a recent move that is causing ripples in the industry, two major music channels, that is, Sound City and MTV Biz have taken a bold step by removing Naramali's song from their playlist. This decision comes in the aftermath of allegations connecting the artist to the tragic death of Mobad. For those who have been following the relationship between Naramali and Mobad, this news may not come as a complete surprise. Mobad, who was once part of Naramali Malian Records label, parted ways with the record label in 2022. Since then, tensions between the two artists have escalated, resulting in public disputes. One of the most memorable incidents occurred in October 2022, where Mobad shared a disturbing live video depicting a distressing moment where he was seen crying and fleeing from a building in Chevron Lake, saying that if he died, Nigerians should hold Naramali and Malian crew responsible. With Moba's tragic death, attention has naturally turned towards Naramali. Sound City and MTV based decision to exclude Naramali's song from their playlist is a show of solidarity amid the ongoing controversies. Although they have not explicitly stated the reason for this decision, it is evidence that the cloud of controversy surrounding the artist played a role in their choice. It is worth noting that Splash FM, another prominent player in the music scene, also joined the ranks in discontinuing the play of Naramali's song. They have taken a firm stance and are encouraging other stations to follow suit. This collective action sends a powerful message that the music industry is not willing to overlook controversies or alleged connections to tragic events. Over the past week, Naramali has also seen a noticeable decline in his social media followers. His Instagram followers, which stood at 7.5 million at the time of Moba's death has since dropped to 6.8 million followers, meaning that over 700,000 people have unfollowed him on Instagram. However, Lere Olanyika, the media aide to former Ekiti state governor Ayodele Fayose, has taken to social media to condemn the murder of late singer Mobad. According to Olanyika, Mobad's mom abandoned her kids for 15 years, resurfacing after Mobad died on Tuesday, September 12, 2023. Olanyika wrote, A woman left two children, Mobad and his sister, in the hands of a man and never looked back until after 15 years. Today, 
The same woman is living in an apartment in major estate in Lake Lagos, courtesy of the child she abandoned for over 15 years. Meanwhile, the daughter she abandoned alongside with Mobad had to learn tailoring and has no shop of her own up to today. She is doing her tailoring in her father's house and the same woman is receiving condolences on a child who died because the mother who should have helped to make him a better person abandoned him for over 15 years. Mobad passed away on Tuesday 12 September 2023 at the age of 27 years old. Meanwhile, Sheyi Tinubu, the son of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has donated the sum of 15 million naira to assist Liam Aloba, son of late Nigerian singer Mobad. In a post on Thursday on Twitter, Tinubu's special assistant on social media, Olusego Dada, disclosed that the president's son have offered his support to Mobad son. Also, the Nigerian police force has stated that the autopsy of late singer Mobad has been completed. The Nigerian police force made this known on its Twitter page on Thursday night. They however stated that it might be true that Mobad was buried alive because some blood was found on his grave when his body was exhumed, which confirmed that the singer was not dead when he was buried alive. The police, however, questioned what could have made the family to rush into burying the artist as fast as possible, even when it has not been confirmed if the artist is dead, because the blood that was found on his grave confirmed that the artist was still alive before he was buried. Record that Lagos State Police Command spokesperson Benjamin Hondini had earlier announced that Mobile's body has been exhumed for autopsy. The Nigerian police force wished to inform the general public that the autopsy procedure for Mobad has been successfully conducted and completed. Furthermore, the information will be provided as soon as the results are available, he stated. Mobad's death last Tuesday raised concerns as an accusing finger was pointed at the Malian Records label owner, Afiz Fashala, professionally known as Naramali. Even Mobad's father is also accused of his death. They accuse him for conspiring with Naramali to kill Mobad. That is why he hurriedly buried Mobad, even when it has not been confirmed if the artist was truly dead. But the blood on the grave of Mobad confirmed that Mobad was buried alive in Ikorodu, Lagos.